Hey guys, Crystal and Shadow here, back with Winx Club, and this one is the Nightmare Monster, or Cold Spell, or the Enemy in the Shadows. So, I actually enjoyed this one quite a lot. Yeah, it this, was pretty good. Yeah, this one turned out to be pretty and good. And finally an adult showed up to I do know. something. I loved when that happened, it's like, oh, finally something's happening. Yes, because those witches, they seem so scary and threatening. They are literal children. They're like, what, 17, 18? Exactly. What? So stuff is finally happening because they're expelled and also it's just cool to see an adult use their powers for once too. The problem is, since they're expelled, then the witch principal can't discipline them any further if they do anything. This is going to be like when that guy got kicked out of school in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and then he went off and did something else. I don't know. Whatever. I didn't finish that. but It's okay. The real hero of this episode was Kiko. <laughs> well, yeah, because when it was time and, and the pumpkin was glowing, he went and told everyone. Like, I think this episode wins the award for the most screen time for Kiko. Yeah! Yeah, that was great. And it was Kiko who was telling Flora to go talk to Pumpkin Girl. Exactly. Kiko did all the work. Mm. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Kiko did all the work, and yeah, it was really great to actually finally see somebody else do something for once. Kind of wish we could have got more of a fight between the principal and the witches, but... Well, the witches can teleport. True. And, I don't know, they want revenge, and we're getting near the end of the season. I'm looking forward to it, because, again, I have very, very vague memories of the end of the season, but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. But still, there's quite a few things left to go, and that's what's making me most excited. But still, this episode, like, at first I was like, oh, it's just going to be a standard thing, but then there was a lot packed into this episode. I know! Yeah, and then, like, then, of course, you got all their dream sequences, which were also interesting because it's technically backstory. Mm, I kinda... Not all of them. We didn't get Bloom or Flora. I know. I was kind of disappointed we didn't oh, get... Oh, well, Bloom got a moment when she was fighting the monster and she saw her I kind of disappointed we didn't and... get a full one with Bloom, though. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, well. We'll never know what Flora's scared of. True. We didn't get anything for Flora, but oh, well, who cares about her? Hmm. They were good, but they were also pretty cliche, like, I don't know, Stella's parents splitting up and I know, but I did like mom. the fact that we realised Stella's parents represent the sun and the moon separately. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they are probably, like, the king and queen of Solaria, because she's the princess. Although, I guess that all comes from her mother's side, because if... Hang on, her father was the moon one. No, her mother was the moon one. Either way, one of them's the sun one, and she's more sun than moon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I suppose it's a bit hard to find us something Well, then it would make more sense if the father is the sun, because then it would be like royal family rules passed down. The man, the man passes stuff down. The woman got married from somewhere else, you know? Yep. Yeah, I don't know. It's not, I don't know how magic genetics work. <laughs> I don't know, it's a royal family. Yeah. Well, I don't know. And then and then and then Techna's dream was just an acid trip. <laughs> it made me wonder, is that what her world looks like? <laughs> I know. Like the first two dreams were like, oh who, here's some backstory and trauma. And then and then Techna's like, no, nah, I, I, my dream's on crack. <laughs> Well, that's when you realise what's really going on and things are really messed up. I don't know. I don't know. The BuzzFeed quid said I'm Techna, so... Oh, I don't think I've taken one. I'll, sh I'll send the quid to you. <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, this was enjoyable. There was a lot packed into it. The dreams, there was a lot of Kiko screen time, the ending with the witches, the whole fight scene, the principal. A lot was packed into this episode. Yeah, I'll go... 8.5? I'll give it an 8.5 as well. Yeah, it was pretty good. What I, is... I thought, when when we saw Stella's mum, I thought she looked familiar. Reason for that is that she's in one of the thumbnails we have. Interesting. What's the next episode called? The next episode is called Royal Heartbreak or Secrets Within Secrets, 
or the secret of Brandon. Interesting, because... Very interesting, because the royal heartbreak would refer to Stella's family, because the thumbnail we have shows both Brandon and Stella's mum. Is there a connection? No, they're probably just in the same room, because all these thumbnails are actual screenshots we've had. No, but that's my point. It's like, but they're both royalty. What if they're connected? No, Brandon's not royal. I thought he was for some reason. No, Prince Sky is royal. Which one's Sky? The one Stella likes. Oh, um, oh, oh, the brown-haired one, I think. Yeah, now that's even more odd. Yeah, Brandon's the one Bloom likes, which is good. I was looking forward to finally interacting with Brandon again. Oh, that's true. Cause it's been a few episodes since that whole thing happened. Yeah, he still hasn't been told that the book was wrong and she's not a witch. Yeah. So hopefully he'll find out now. But the episode says that it's Brandon's secret we're finding out about. That's true. That that that, that raises a lot of questions. If I understand my Italian grammar correctly, it's the secret of Brandon. Well, who knows? We'll have to find out next time. Yeah, we'll see you next time for more winks and other things as well. See, see you, you next, next time, time guys. guys.